Hi, my name is Heidi Janssen and I am the owner of Embroidery for You and Printed Tea. And um, I never get to meet half of my clients and this is why I'm doing this. Also, I found that they, um, that it might be a very good idea to explain to my clients how to send um, their images and their logos. I feel a lot of people are not very um, good informed and um, they struggle and I'm here to help and I am glad if anybody else wants to um, opt in and um, give your opinion if you know about things I don't um, you're very welcome to let me know um, but please enjoy the lesson um, it is just a little bit of advice how to send out of the word document your logos to us we feel we get a lot of that and it causes a lot of frustration simply because you've got a Vista operating system, um, I have got a XP operating system and both of them are clashing and this is the way to solve it. Uh, yeah, so go with me and um, enjoy this lesson. I uh, This whole thing is quite new to me, pardon if I make a couple of mistakes. Um, I'm going to get used to this and very welcome to embroidery for you and printer tea. Right, we've got about um, seven to eight lessons here and it's all about how to send images to your printer, your embroiderer, your sign maker, your friends, your family, it doesn't matter. This whole, whole eight lessons are free of charge. I'm not charging for this information. It's there to help you and it's there to help me. In the first week we will discuss a Microsoft Word file and your letters on a letter, um, your logo on a letterhead and your images on a letterhead. How to get them off there or how to send them to us. Then we will discuss Coral Draw, which is a good program to resample and compress. Photoshop, uh, where you will fix up the artwork, um, just general little mistakes that we get to and uh, lose a t-shirt here and there just because the artwork was not right. Then um, paint, if you have um, no coral draw or Photoshop to be used. Then also the various formats that um, is good and which are not good to use. Scan pictures and patterns that are almost a no-no. Um, the alternative to that is most probably photographing your image and then I might even touch on the FTP site where we will drop big Photoshop um, files or stuff like that but let's see how far we're getting. Right here we go. Hi, I want to show you today um, the first lesson where we will discuss um, a Word document uh, I'm sure some of you have received Word documents via email and you will see in there is your um, logo. Um, often what happens is you cannot actually move it or it is uh, hidden behind something. I just want to have a look at inserts. No, that's not. And this is positioning your logo as you see where I move this is moving <clears throat> right um, and there's your text wrapping if you go and press behind text then it will be behind the text or if you're gonna press on the text wrapping and say in front of text then it will go in front of the text let's put it behind the text <clears throat> there we go now I've given you um, some idea here people sent us a word letterhead with their logo on nothing wrong with it um, we normally do it ourselves and what you can do is please don't s send it to us as a DOXC file DOXC is is the very new um, program not everybody's got it and certainly not we as embroiderers often switch these kind of programs uh, we rather invest in the programs that are enhancing the digitizing part or the printing part 
but we like to keep the old programs running because the computers run steady and why shall we scratch where it doesn't itch. Then we've also got um, another problem. I find that often out of a Vista um, program or a Vista running computer, they send us um, JPEGs and when the JPEG comes to us, it gives us a DAT. I don't know why it gives us a data type of file. We can't open it. Uh, nothing is matching it. Maybe there's an IT boy out there that can tell us what is cooking. Why do we get that? Um, they, therefore, I'm asking, please don't send a DOXC file or don't send a DAT file to us. We, we cannot open these and we're all just going to hassle you until you give us the right stuff. The right way to do it, um, I would say, is either copy the logo and paste it into a paint program or otherwise, if you are in Vista or if you are in this new um, Word, Word program um, that we've got now, and you go click on Save As, you will see you go down here and you actually have a PDF format. And PDF we can open up in both ways, either in Coral Draw or in um, Photoshop. Uh, the PDF file is easy to handle and we can digitize from that. So I will say to you, um, rather send us that in the PDF file. Also, also it will send easy over the internet. Nothing can go wrong. Our last res um, resort save as a doc file, which is then also a document file. I just want to show you, if I go, I say save as, and you, it, it defaults immediately to the DOCX file, and that is the one that we cannot open. I will show you a Wind Word 97 to 2003 document. It's, that's the DOC file. We can open that. And everybody should be able to open that who has a computer and who's got Word on, on their computer. So you can either save it then in a DOC file or otherwise in a PDF file. And then, of course, the, the first and the best alternative is to, to take your logo, select it, click on the right-hand side button, say copy. Let's go back here. And just recapture here. Please don't send a DOXC, don't send a DAT file. can do nothing with it. The right way is either to copy the logo and paste it to the paint program, save it as a PDF format or, or PDF file, or last resort, save it as a DOC file, and then you can send it. And the way you will send it is also very easy. If I save this now as a PDF, Let's just go press on save as and I'm going to save this as a PDF file and let's see it is saved in documents down and here you've got your PDF file which we can which is very lovely I will show you why I say that because you can either file you've got an option here where you can say attach it to an email And there we go. It's sending it. That's as easy as it, what it gets. So you've got more options than just these three. You can actually send directly out of Word. However, yeah, yeah, that, that would be the best um, option, the PDF, op, the PDF format. Uh, I say thank you for listening to me today, and next week we will discuss um, coral draw, compression, and resampling. Thank you so much, and goodbye.